what can chemical engineers do as entrepreneurship or how can they open businesses? And I typically see a lot of bad feedback and very angry people that they feel that they count them, that they cannot do anything, that they are almost slaves to companies, slaves to production, manufacturing. So I don't think that's the case. And that's why I ask you to come here. Tell us an example on what can a chemical engineer do and how, if you apply it, how do you do it? I'll start saying that we can do anything that we want to. And that uh, might sound quite romantic, but I think that's, I think it's true. In my case, in my case, I always wanted to have my own business. Um, I never saw myself uh, working for the same company for the rest of my life and then uh, retiring and, and yeah, being, I don't want to say a slave because you, if you are there, it's because you want to, it's because you decided to be there. But I didn't see myself working on a company for the rest of my life, to be honest. But I was well aware that I needed to develop certain skills to learn uh, some stuff, to be exposed to real life <laughs> while I had a job. I thought that was the best uh, strategy for me. I thought that was, that was what, I, what would work for me to, to develop this expertise um, not only on the technical, from a technical point of view, but also from uh, working with others and how to deal with uh, with complexity and all this uh, stuff that they don't teach you at school, right? So that's basically what I was learning, especially since I was working as project manager, I had to deal with people all the time. And that's something that I thought or that I... Yeah, that I thought that I needed to work in. So, how this uh, how how this started? Then, as a chemical engineer, I had this hobby with, which was cooking, and more specifically, grilling. While I was working, I started. I, for example, I bought my my first barbecue. I started to to work on some dishes. I was attending some classes. Uh, because that's something I, that I really enjoy doing. I'm not talking from a professional point of view. I always saw that as my hobby. I never thought of it as my own business. I've Check out the full episode at chemicalengineeringguy.com slash forward podcast. I'll see you there.